We head to Ottaville, where the top-seeded Lady Titans of Ottawa Glandorf battle it out with number 16 Continental. In the first, it was all OGs. Mackenzie Recker gets the steal. She's going to set up a beautiful cross pass over the middle for Brianna Douglas. A way to use your noggin there, Brianna. OG up 1-0 early off the header. Still in the first, Carson Erford gets that ball in the middle, and she misses the shot on goal. But same possession, she's going to get another chance. Lady Titans don't give up. Erford gets redemption as she scores a second goal of the night for OG. Later in the first, Wrecker almost gets her second goal here, but the, uh, the half actually, but she's denied by the crossbar. OG, though, recovers. Marissa Brown heads this baby in for the third of the night of the first half. Lady Titans roll their way on to the finals. Four to nothing, they win. Now we had to figure out who OG is facing in the district finals. The number three seed Miller City taking on Columbus. The number two seed Columbus Grove picking up the action in the second half. CG just couldn't get anything going on the offensive side of the ball. However, Miller City was getting plenty of shots on goal left and right, including this one from Isabel Reyna. But after a scoreless two halves, we head to extra time. Where Danica Ellers sets up the play in the box and Ava Rosengarten gets the sweet slide kick for the game winner. What a game. Miller City wins one to nothing. Wildcats move on to play the Lady Titans right here in Ottaville. This is at Saturday at four. We have Division Three District semifinal action as the Van Buren Lady Black Knights take on the Riverdale Falcons. The opening half, Van Buren trying to get on the board is prime opportunity right here. Miranda Miller is right there for the stop. Miller keeps this game scoreless to the other end now. Riverdale with this same idea in mind, but Van Buren's goalie can make that stop as well. As Sydney Sherrick, she's there to make that save. We're still not at at zeros. Falcons will try again, and this time it's Kendall Rowell who ensures the attempt makes it through the net. The junior gives Riverdale a 1-0 lead. Falcons go on to win 2-1. to one. Well, The following matchup sees the Bluffton Lady Pirates host in Mansfield Christian on their home turf. In the first half, Samantha Schools sends it to Riley Eachus, and Eachus unloads on the shot, and it finds the inside of the post. Lady Pirates are on the board first. They lead one to nothing. The road team trying to get on the board, but Julia McAfee is there for the stop. She prevents the Flames from capitalizing on the shot attempt. Bluffton still up by one. On the other end, Lady Pirates strike again. This time, it's off the foot of Blair. Utendorf and the Lady Pirates double their lead to two. Road team still trying to get something going, but the, the answer isn't there. Mahaffey is still there. Another stop. Bluffton rolls to a 5-2 to two dub. They'll play Riverdale for the district championship on Saturday. Back at Bluffton at three.